Greetings, this is June the 14th, Friday, June the 14th, 2013. This is Focus on the Army. I am Major Calvin coming to you from the Salvation Army in St. Lucia. Well, look, I, 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 we were looking yesterday in um, Joshua chapter 2. And um, today we're in Joshua chapter 6, continuing the story of Rahab and Joshua and the spies. But I tell you, it's interesting, it's interesting. But before I get to that, let me share with you um, that in Barbados and St. Lucia, our prayer subject for June the 14th is um, we're praying for people with health concerns. And would you know how the Spirit works? When we look at the territorial calendar now coming to us from Kingston, from territorial headquarters, the subject today is for Major um, uh, Avis, John Louis, who was not feeling well across territory today we're praying for those who are not well there are a number of people who are so why why do people get sick sometimes well, i can't really give you the full explanation but here's here, here here's my theory on it okay look you're not taking care of your body so you need to slow down um i think i was studying somewhere back in my days this was a long time ago i graduated from school about 20 years ago so so i can't quote you the book and chapter and paragraph and all that there. but i remember reading that your body is an interesting um mechanism uh, i don't know if that's the right word to say but the body is a is a complex organism and when you get too excited, when when you overexert yourself, the body needs time to renew. You know, and when we sleep at night, the body is doing a whole lot of um, work. You know, like the story when when the shoemaker used to get up in the morning and find shoes already done. The elves is um, doing the shoes. Well, when we sleep, our body, uh, the brain ticking making the, the body repair itself doing some repairs during the night that's why we need to sleep at night so the whole thing why i coming back to what i was really saying about the, the body is when we overexert ourselves then um the brain sends depressing thoughts um, throughout the body and it's kind of like a defense mechanism and when we get these depressed thoughts, we just want to be quiet. We don't want to talk to nobody. We don't want to do anything. We just want to go in the corner and just have a lot, you know. And we may think sometimes, you know, this depression, you know, but is 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 the brain trying to slow you down so that the body can be restored? And you know what? Some of us get sick and have to go to the hospital because. We're too busy. We, we're moving. We're not spending time. So we get a heavy flu. We get malaria. We get pink eye. We, we get a stroke. We get all kind of kind of things. We get gastro. We get... Uh, 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 you know, I don't really get sick too much, you know, so I, I can't think of anything to say. But 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 um, we get these things. And, and we got to be hospitalized for... Um, for some days or one day and you know what happened while we lay down on the bed we can't do anything because we can't bring the computer we can't bring the tv we can't bring all these things in the hospital we got to just lie there still and you know what happened when we lie there still is god start to talk to us start to work you know so sometimes we get sick because god need to spend some time with us where we can only hear his voice and not be distracted by the business of life. So we have a number. Of, that's just one or two theories. No, no, not set my thing. I, I, I don't qualify, but I just make it an assumption. So here's the whole thing. Um, we have a number of people that are sick, so we want to pray that. And not just people in the Salvation Army, you know, I walk on the streets, I meet all kind of people, all kind of ailments, some things that you never know was existing. And we know the Creator. And He can touch anybody because He created the body. 
And so, let's pause now and speak to him. Heavenly Father, the creator of heaven and earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the rivers, the waters, the vegetation, but more importantly, the creator of man. We pray that you reach out now, Major Avis John Louis, and all the people that we know at this moment that come to our mind who are not well or who have some serious health concerns. We pray that they will look to you and believe in you, believe that you can heal them if it is your will. And we commit their bodies into your hands. We intercede for them now and pray that you will touch their bodies. Touch them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Let them feel not just the anointing of the Holy Spirit, but let them feel the healing power. Remind them that you have healed them in times past from varied ailments, and there's a strong possibility that you can do it again if it is your will. You just need to speak the word, and they will be delivered. So, Lord, at this moment, we place them in your hands. We trust in you. And we give you thanks for delivering them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Before you go, just let me share with you Joshua chapter 6, verse 22 to 25. From the New International Version, it says, Joshua said to the two men who had spied out the land, Go into the prostitute's house and bring her out and all who belong to her in accordance with your oath to her. So the young men who had done the spying went in and brought up Rahab, her father and mother, her brothers and sisters, and all who belonged to her. They brought out the entire family and put them in a place outside the camp of Israel. Then they burned the whole city and everything in it, but they put the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron into the treasury of the Lord's house. But Joshua spared Rahab the prostitute with her family and all who belonged to her because she had hid the men Joshua had sent as spies to Jericho. And she lives among the Israelites to this day. This is the word of God. Now let's get one thing fast. The lady not still alive. She can't be still alive now. That was the Old Testament time. But by the time the book was written, that book in the Bible, she was still living and not just living, but she was living among the Israelites. She was the enemy. She's from Jericho. But yet because of the act of kindness that she did, she was rewarded. Comes back to tell you again, God is working in our situation. God will deliver us. If we uphold the commands that he gave us, Rachel was told to hang a scarlet rope from, from, from the string from the the window that the guy has delivered. Bring a mother, father, sister, brother, the cat, the, and the pet fish. And the dog too. And put them in the hall. Watch them inside there. They'll be covered and delivered. We see the scripture being fulfilled from Joshua chapter 2. Now we see it being fulfilled in Joshua chapter 6. It says he's sending men. Go in the house. Look. The men marched round the walls of Jericho. Round the walls of Jericho. When the people gave a shot, the walls fell flat. Everything was crumbling all around. And you, you think Rahab was moving? Maybe she was frightened, she was trembling, everybody in the house screaming, pet fish jumping up and down, the water. And, and what happened? The promise was, you'll be delivered if you stay put. So even though the, the walls was crumbling down all around Jericho, everything was exposed. She obviously didn't have a house that was in the wall because wall well, crumbling down. She's just standing up there, not panicking. She would have said to the family, the two men said, we can't move from here. If we go outside, the gang get killed. So either way, might as well we stay here. Because if you go out there, you get killed. If the building falls down, we still really will die. So just stay here. And see if the God of the spies, the God of the Israelites, will deliver us as promised. And when all the dust was clear from the initial walls falling down, the men went in and rescued her. How did you find her? By looking for the red scarlet string that they said to hang out the window. And so she was delivered. 